This is the minimum coefficient of friction for a solid sphere to roll without slipping on an incline. So to answer this question, we first need to draw a free body diagram to evaluate all the forces on this object. We know that there's gravity for sure, and that's going to point straight down. And we know that gravity has two components. The horizontal component will cause the object to roll downwards, mg sine theta. And we know that its vertical component goes straight down. That's mg cosine theta. But this object's not falling straight into the ground, so we know that there's a normal force that's going to be equal to mg cosine theta. And we know that if this object is rolling, it needs a torque. And the only force that can possibly give this a torque is the force of friction. And we also know that the friction will be static friction because the object is rolling without slipping. So when the object rolls without slipping, its point of contact does not have a velocity. All right, so let's find an equation. So for translational motion, the net force is ma, which is equal to mg sine theta minus the force of friction. And then for the rotational motion, we know that the net torque is equal to uh, R cross F, which is equal to 2 fifths MR squared times A over R, which is the same as the rotational acceleration. And when we solve for F, the force of friction, we get 2 fifths M A. So if we plug that back into the original equation, we get M A is equal to M G sine theta minus 2 fifths M A. And when we solve for uh, mg sine theta, we'd get 7 fifths ma is equal to mg sine theta. And then solving for acceleration gives us 5 sevenths uh, g sine theta. So <coughs> we know the acceleration that's that's 5 sevenths g sine theta. And we also know that the force of friction is, uh, has to be the normal force times the coefficient of friction. And the normal force we already know is mg cosine of theta. And the coefficient of friction is what we're trying to find. And that's going to be equal to 2 fifths m and we know the acceleration is 5 sevenths g sine theta. So we now know that mu mg, sine, mg cosine theta is equal to 2 sevenths mg sine theta. And then when we solve for mu, the coefficient of friction, we get 2 sevenths tangent of theta. So the minimum coefficient of friction required for this object to roll without slipping has to be 2 sevenths tangent of theta.